What's up, folks? We're back, and it's winter fishing at its finest. Just got done with a guy trip, and we absolutely crushed it. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go right back out there, put some fish in the boat, some big fish in the boat. Key things is accurate cast, braid, sniping braid, and fishing obviously with the right stuff. But at the end of the day, uh, good retrieval is gonna put a lot of fish in the boat. This winter fishing is incredible. It is uh, roughly 30 degrees, water temperature is roughly around 49. And we're gonna go back out there, do exactly the same thing, show you, I'm gonna put my bibs on. Yeah, let's put some fish in the boat. Thanks for watching, bam. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So yeah, winter fishing is incredible. On my home lake, man, these fish are separating from the brush piles and they, are, they aren't even close to uh, what they were doing before. They've separated themselves, they're moving, they're very active. And uh, having awesome equipment is, is very important. I, I can just tell you that people wanna say, say that it's like a sales pitch, that type of thing, but if I've got some stuff in this boat that I think is important to you to catch more fish, put more fish in the boat, I'm gonna share it with you. And Ozark Rods, a 10 footer, that thing is incredible, uh, extremely sensitive, so check them out. And the sniping braid has been second to none, so you need to check that stuff out. But regardless, it's a beautiful day. It's a bluebird day, a little windy, but uh, we're gonna put fish in the boat here. All right, folks, you're wobbling around there a little bit. Today we were fishing a pile and the fish decided they wanted to leave that pile. So we finished, we, we followed this school of fish almost three quarters the length of our wreck area on my home lake, which is an, an enormous length of time. And, um, and we just absolutely crushed it. When we came back looking for more piles or more schools of fish, we stumbled across an area that just seemed like it was holding a ton of fish. I mean, just a ton. And it became an every cast scenario. That is a school, and that is a really good school. Let me rotate it around so I don't spook them. And this school is just moving around the lake. And typically, if you catch one of these fish, you're gonna get an idea really quick the size of most of those fish. Not that it's always perfect, but that's kind of the story behind it. Usually they do school in the same size. So let's see if we can't catch them. Now again, I keep them out about 30 feet. And that's the first cast. And I'm telling you folks, that's a great fish. That's Let's just start off with a 12 and a half, why not? That's that three pound fish and tackle, and that is a freaking hammer right there. I mean a really good sized fish for this lake, and healthy, 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 healthy. Look at that, bam! Let him go. Oh man. <laughs> How can you not love this? Fish after fish after fish. Another solid fish. Uh, again, casting it out there, letting it drop, and then it's just a slow retrieval. And if I see what's going on on the live scope, um, I will speed it up, I'll play the fish. If I see a fish turn, I'm gonna speed it up, act like I'm running. And that always seems to trigger a, a, a lot more activity. For sure. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. That's so much fun though. Good night. There it is. <laughs> Good fish. And by the way, if you want to go on a guide trip, give me a holler. Threepoundfishing at gmail.com. No sales pitch, baby. And that is a 14 inch hammer. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Come on now. Put it in the sunlight. Put it in the sunlight. Right there. That is a freaking great freaking fish right there. Thick. We let them go. We always let them go. Well, I let them go. On the guide trips, they usually keep them. All right, so gear check real quick. Ozark rods, 10 footer is my go-to caster. I know that the short rods have become real popular and so to each his own, but I think a 10 footer does everything I could ever want. If I want to pitch really close or if I want to cast, I can do it all right there. Sniping braid, check it out, snipingbraid.com. Unbelievably smooth, the feedback has been incredible. If you haven't tried it out, you're missing out. Fluga reel, I get these at Grizzly Jig 
check them out. They are the best reels I have ever used. And I've had them on here for three years and I've not had one problem with these Fluger reels. And I get them at Grizzly Jig. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a good eater. So how do you find these fish? That's the thing. You come to a lake, you don't know where they're at, where are you gonna start, that type of thing. Good eater right there. Well, first and foremost, I'm a, fa I'm a big fan of points. So I'd go to the points. But finding them would be recommend, I would recommend using side imaging. Um, you can recognize these fish by looking for black shadows, white specks, groups of them. Almost will look like a bait ball, but they'll be bigger than a bait ball. And again, always casting, 25, 30 feet, staying away from them unless they swim right underneath the boat, which they do a lot. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh. Little guy. Look at these, these fish are all around us right now. They are, look at that. If you can see that screen right there, specks everywhere. Look at that, just caught a fish right there. That was a that's a 12 inch plus. Oh baby, pig! Oh, that was that was a pig. That was a pig. Oh, good night. That's a big fish. Holy mackerel! Whoa, baby! That's a good fish right there. Bam, look at that. Awesome fish right there, folks. Solid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna flip that guy right over the camera. And, uh, He's a nice little eater. He is a nice eater. He came out of the dirt. Came out of the dirt. Bam! It just doesn't get any better than this. Winter fishing. <laughs> it's almost like shooting fish in a barrel. Good fish. Folks, that's gonna end it. Short episode on winter crappie fishing. It don't get much better than this. Here's another key. Tie your braid right to your jig. Don't worry about it. No joke. No need for a leader. Fish are gonna bite. Have a great one. Please subscribe. Three pound fishing. All right. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.